Now we know what to do. Okay. Today, I announced that I'm running for re-election to the city council from my own neighborhood in Topeka because strong neighborhoods are so important and that is what and they are what makes the city great. <laughs> it has been an honor and a pleasure to serve my neighbors and fellow citizens of Topeka for the past four years. I've worked hard every day to make this city stronger by working effectively with others. Others include fellow council, fellow city council members, city business leaders, government leaders, and most importantly, the people that I represent. My priorities for these four years have been reducing crime in our neighborhoods, attracting new jobs for our city, addressing the neglected condition of our streets, water lines, and sewers, and improving the performance and atmosphere of the City Council. I am proud to report improvement in all four areas, and I promise, if re-elected, to work just as hard on the progress we have already made. Fighting crime. The tragedy of December 16, when our city lost two fine officers, cannot be ignored and everything must be done to see that it does not happen again. But let's not ignore that progress is being made in fighting crime. The police department reports that property crime and violent crime together are actually 9% lower today than a year ago, which they credit to the community getting more involved in protecting themselves and their property. That is good news, but we want to do better than that. I was proud to be part of the effort to put significant new dollars into our police budget this summer. This will mean more police on the streets, more patrol cars in our neighborhoods, better training for our force, and more equipment for our officers. I've also strongly supported the city's investment in helping neighborhoods organize themselves and work better with the police to reduce crime in their areas. These are real steps to a safer Topeka. Creating jobs. I have strongly supported the Neighborhood Revitalization Program that provides tax breaks for small businesses to help them expand by building new buildings or expanding existing structures in special areas of our city. The Chamber of Commerce reports that we have held our own with jobs through this economic downturn. That is good news but we want to do better. I have championed the partnerships that the city has created with private business as well as local schools to produce training programs for 21st century jobs. Jobs like robotics, being the training being offered at Highland Park, high school as well as Washburn Tech. These programs match the needs of our growing businesses and provide real opportunities for our youth. to share that information with each other. Over 70 businesses. Streets, water lines, and sewers. Topeka is paying the price of having neglected too long to establish a long-term plan to upgrade or replace infrastructure that is, in many cases, is more than 100 years old. Like my neighbors, I want to have potholes filled today. 
and have supported the funding to make that happen. But what the city really needs, and I support, is the creation of a master plan for maintenance and improvement of our water and sewer infrastructure and getting street repairs and improvements back into the annual city budget. I am optimistic we can get this done going forward. A city council that is more effective and new energy in our city. Citizens have reported that the council improved immediately after our class of 2009 took office four years ago. And I've been proud to be part of that change. It has created a more effective council and has provided our citizens with more informed decision making, better communication, and better transparency. There's also been a new energy in our city over the past four years that is invaluable in keeping our best and brightest here in the city and attracting new businesses. For instance, it was really fun to support the Google project. And it was reward, it's been rewarding work to provide active support to downtown revitalization planning, the new NOTO Arts District, and the bikeways plan. The next four years promise to be challenging, but I love what I do. I'm excited about where we are going. It has been an honor to serve. I look forward to another, even better, four years of service to our city. Hey. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> I'd be happy to field them. Well, you listed off what you're most proud of, but what, ha what did you, what makes you want to do it again? I mean, it seems like you accomplished what you wanted to. What are you looking forward to doing the next four? What makes me want to do it again, in fact, get up in every morning and, and, um, and get back to work on it is that it's making a difference. We're seeing that citizens participating when they're when they're giving input, something's happening. We're making progress on fixing the things that have been neglected for so long, and there's a new energy to moving forward, and that's fun. Do you uh, do you have one one uh, opposition opponent right now so far? Do you feel him as a legitimate challenge? Um. I appreciate having young people get involved. At this point, I can, uh, what I have to offer is experience in the community as well as significant experience and contributions on the city council. I expect to continue that. I have time. I'm there all the time working on not only core issues, but those extra issues that constituents individually or as groups want to see addressed in our city. I've delivered that and I can continue to do that. Karen, why didn't you run for mayor? <laughs> Thank you, Phil. I think that serving, that, that serving another term on the city council is critical. We need strong and active city council members. And I think that's a good place for me and for this district and for the city today. What did you learn the most on your four years, did you feel? service in this first four years confirmed my faith in people and that city government, well done, can work. One last question for me, Karen. How do you describe your style? Uh, everybody's an individual up there, you know, but you bring in your own unique style. How would you describe your style as far as uh, representing uh, your constituents? It's uh, a good question, too. I would describe my style as as diligent and caring, responsive to citizens, and ener did I say energetic? <laughs> I didn't say that yet. <laughs> responsive, caring, diligent, and energetic. Other questions? Good. Good. Thank you for coming. Good. Welcome to everybody. Well, Roger. <laughs> okay. You're good. You're good. Let's just, you can go. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to.